Hey folks, welcome to CodeEdge. In this session, we will see how to integrate Lambda with application load balancer. In this session, we will create Lambda function. After that, we will create application load balancer. We will attach security group to the application load balancer. Security group, it acts just like a firewall, which allow inbound or outbound traffic into the application load balancer. So we will create inbound rule for the HTTP traffic on port 80 so that client that is from our browser, we can access application load balancer. While creating application load balancer, we will create a target group. And uh, in the target group, we will attach Lambda function. Application load balancer required permissions to invoke Lambda function. For that, it uses resource-based policy. We will see that in the in the hands-on. So let's get started. Okay, so this is our AWS management console. So let's click on the Lambda. Let's click on the create function. Let's give it a name. ALB Lambda demo. Okay, we will use runtime Python. And let's click on create function. In the meantime, we will create a load balancer. So search EC2. And in the load balancing section, you can find option for load balancer. Just click on that. Okay. Click on the create load balancer. As we are going to use HTTP, we will create application load balancer type. So let's click on create. Give it a name, ARB Lambda Demo Load Balancer. Okay, it will be internet facing of type IPv4. We will use default VPC and deploy it into the three subnet. Okay, now as I said, we will require to create a security group. We, we won't use default one. So let's click on the create security group. Let's give it a name. ALB demo security group. That is HG. Give the same name in the description. Okay. And we are going to add inbound rule, which allow HTTP traffic on port 80 from anywhere on IPv4. Okay, let's create security group. Okay, so our security group is created. Let's click on the refresh button and select newly created security group. Okay, now we are going to listen on port 80 with HTTP traffic. Now we will have to create a target group so that we can attach Lambda function. So click on this option and we are going to create uh select lambda function here okay let's give it a target group name target group for lambda okay let's click on the next okay let's see how, how our uh, lambda function is created or not so it is getting it is created with the alb lambda demo name so select that name here we will save the latest version and create a target group. Okay, so our target group is created. Let's go back into the load balancer configuration. Just click on this refresh button, select TG for Lambda, that is target group. Then we can see summary is there. We are creating an application load balancer of internet facing IPv4 type. We have attached security group. We are using default subnet and we're listening on the port 80. Looks good. Then let's click on the create load balancer. Now, while it is getting provision, let's go back into the Lambda function. Now you can see uh, this function is returning status code as a 200 and default message is hello from Lambda. Let's test it. 
let's say the default some dummy event okay then save and test it you can see we are getting status code now what we, we will do we will print this event so that we can see what application load balancer sending event to the application to the la uh, lambda function okay so just write a print event just deploy it and test okay so we can see event is getting printed here okay now let's go back into the load balancer it is still pre provisioning so let's wait for some time okay so load balance is created you can see status is active now click on this load balancer and you can see there is a dns name we will use this url to call our load balancer just click on this and hit this url now you can see some file is getting downloaded okay let me open that file okay you can see the file has a response hello from lambda which is written from the lambda function but we don't want this uh, response to be get downloaded in the text file we want this response should be printed on the uh, browser console okay so what we can do let's go back into our browser okay and let's search aws lambda alb example let's click on that okay so here you can see when application load balancer call lambda it send request in this format okay you can see it is calling target group okay then http http type method it is gate then some path query string okay now while returning the response from the lambda we will use this response so that it should it, it will get printed on the browser so let's copy this and go back to the lambda function and replace this written statement with this code so what is what we are returning now status code will be 200 and we are returning this thing extra that is content type is text or html and body will be hello from lambda okay so let it deploy and let it get updated and test it you can see response is getting printed now let let's test it on the browser just copy that url again and hit it in the browser You can see the response is getting printed on the browser now one more thing we can see if we refresh we can see application load balancer added as a trigger okay now if you go into the monitor just click on view clock cloud watch, cloud watch log okay you can select the latest one you can see that our alb sending request in this format let me select that one yeah, this one so you can see the target group arn is a target group that we have created it is tg for lambda right so this target group contains our lambda function then we have http method that is a get right then we have query query string parameter that is empty that we are not sending anything then there is a header right so this is in this format uh it send a request to the lambda function okay now if you you can see the logs from here as well okay and one more thing i wanted to show if you go into the configuration 
and if you go into this section resource based policy statement okay if you click on this and view policy here aw is automatically creating resource based policy for alb what it what the policy says is the service that is load balancing service have access to invoke function okay and this was user alb lambda demo that is our lambda and it also checking the condition like for the calling service which is allowed to call this lambda function that is tg for lambda that is our target group right so as a summary if i say it this what this policy is saying allow load balancer to invoke lambda function which has a name like this or you can say resource ARN and also checking condition which is allow only this target group to invoke this lambda function okay so this is how we can integrate AWS lambda with ALB that's it for this session thanks for watching it